what's up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly truly grateful and if you are new to this channel please do me a favor by clicking the subscribe button so we can go on this motorcycle vlogging journey together and for those who have been coming back to watch my videos i'm truly truly grateful to you for supporting this channel guys in today's video i'm going to talk about a few things that i have modified on this bike to make it more comfortable for my style of riding as we all know manufacturers of motorcycles can satisfy every human size and height and weight for the bikes that they make so usually from factory uh, the stock bikes have some things that work for some people and uh, don't work for others so when I got my bike there were a few things that I thought I could change or add onto the bike to make it more comfortable to suit my style of riding so in this video that's what I'm going to do let's go and take a look at the bike and I'll show you the modifications that I've done so far until now all right guys i'll start in the front of the bike so as you can see this is not the original stock windscreen that came with the bike this is an aftermarket one uh, the original windshield that comes with the bike is about this height and uh, for taller riders i would say people about 180 me uh, meters and above i am 183 meters tall so if you are about 180 meters and above you're going to want to change this windshield because the original windshield has a height of about here and so if you're a taller rider and you're riding the what happens is the wind comes over the top of the windshield and it comes straight to your face and there's strong buffeting hitting your face and your helmet and it's very uncomfortable so if you're a taller rider and you have this bike or you're considering buying this bike this is one of the first upgrades you should think of anyone who is tall and has this bike what can attest to what i'm saying and i can say confidently that you will need to change this windshield if you want to be comfortable on the bike uh, and this is coming from experience i rode it i tried many different adjustments at the point i even took off the original windshield just to uh, do some sort of trial and error and in the end I decided to go for a taller windshield so this is something to consider if you're tall you're gonna need it it's gonna make your riding a lot more comfortable and uh, another experience I've had with this windshield is I can usually leave my visor open when I'm riding and uh, I don't get any wind in my face and it also brings in fresh air especially when the weather is warm so this is definitely something you want to consider if you're a taller rider guys the next modification that I want to talk about is these hand guards so I have them on both sides of the handlebars and uh, the way it's been designed kind of directs air or wind away from your hands when you're riding um, so especially on cold days or windy days uh, it takes away all that fatigue that you would normally feel with the wind hitting your hands or cold air getting in your gloves and making you uncomfortable and also in the case where you hit something uh, right about where your hands are on the handlebars this is set to protect your hands from getting hurt so as far as I'm concerned this is another upgrade that you want to make I think it will help solve a lot of that problem for you so this is the right side of it and I'll just move to the the left side of it so there are two this I got aftermarket they are not very expensive so this is a very cost-effective um, modification that you can make to make your ride even better the next important upgrade for me that I made on this bike is heated grips so especially in cold weather in the winter months you want to have your hands warm while you're riding and unfortunately Honda doesn't install heated grips on on this CB500X it doesn't come as an option I haven't seen or heard of anyone say their option their bike came with a heated grips so I decided to go with these aftermarket heated grips which I got uh, on the biggest e-commerce website in China and uh, it's been working great I mean I've used it a whole winter and it works really well I have no complaints about it it heats up really quickly and it keeps your hand really warm it has five stages so um, let me just demonstrate to you how it works so I've connected it directly to the battery 
so it has a switch here that you use to control so when I turn on my ignition even without turning on the ignition as it's connected to the battery I can power it up uh, by clicking this button here so this is a controller so if I press it once uh, that's the first stage second stage changes color so the intensity is higher and higher with every stage and green is like medium and then you have one step up and then red is the highest and I have to say it heats up really really quickly um, the only disadvantage is whether the ignition is turned on or not this can be switched on so uh, I just hope that you are in a good place where you have good people around otherwise if someone wants to punish you by draining your battery they can switch it on and uh, by the time you return to your bike the battery is drained but what I usually try to do is I try to switch it off before I turn the engine off just so it doesn't drain the battery and I've tried to make it a habit so that I don't forget to to turn it off but the weather has changed now it's quite warm I rarely use it these days unless I'm riding at night so yeah this is another important upgrade that I think uh, you might need if you live in a colder environment and I like them as well they they um, they look really great design wise and they they grip really nicely um, and they're quite durable after half a year I can only see signs of little wear here but that's also because my uh, my riding gloves have these hard plastic pro uh, protection and that's what's scratching it but otherwise it's it works perfectly so this is another upgrade to take note of if you ride in cold and chilly weather and still in the front guys this is my phone holder I don't have a GPS or anything I use my phone as my GPS for music for calls for everything so I got this Motorwool phone holder that I slot my phone in and I tighten these rollers in opposite directions and they hold on to the phone and uh, it has worked for me for a year already I mean there are so many different kinds and so many different brands of phone holders or GPS holders out there so you just go for which one you think works for you but this has worked well for me so far and I have no complaints about it so if you're riding on this bike and you want to use your GPS or you want your phone to be at a place where you can easily see it this is something you will need the next important modifications I made on this motorcycle is the installation of crash guards as they're called popularly called um, so they these are, are Chinese brands and the brand name is Lobu and it is a company that makes motorcycle accessories and they are known for their high quality and just by looking at these and looking at reviews and feeling them they feel really high quality so I got these uh, these lower ones for the engine to guard the engine and these upper ones to get the fairing of the motorcycle they install really really great and so far they have worked really really well they come with all the torque settings and after installation I haven't seen any any difference in the vibrations different from the original vibrations that come with the bike so it's really really cool and I don't feel it's definitely heavier but I don't feel that much significant difference in weight added to the bike so these are great additions if you want to protect your bike because when this bike falls over and you maybe break the engine case or any of the fairings or something like that it's going to cost you a lot more than these crash bars so if you are considering this bike this is something you should add to your budget because it's going to save you a lot in the case where something happens we don't want any accidents but if anything happens it's, it's going to cost you a lot more than the crash bar so i'm just going to take you around so you have a look at how they look on the bike Next guys is the exhaust so uh, I'll link up the video for the installation of this exhaust 
It is a video that's quite popular. I think a lot of people agreed with uh, switching to a better sounding aftermarket exhaust. So I got this one, not an original, but it still works really well. It's, it's a MIV brand, um, Titanium. If you watch the installation video, you will see that this part was black, like deep black when I first bought it and installed it. But after riding it through the summer, the color changed to brown. And I'm told, and I was told in the comments by some experts that uh, the color will keep changing because of the material that has been used. I'm not very technical in that, but I must say that I'm liking this better than even the black because uh, the brown or kind of goldish color here to me looks cool. What do you think? Let, let me know in the, in the comments. So yeah, this is another important um, upgrade for me because the original muffler, I know a lot of science goes into it, but it doesn't sound good for the kind of bike and for the kind of engine. So um, if you really want to enjoy better sound, go in for an aftermarket exhaust. So the last one I would like to talk about guys is this lock holder. It's just a simple sort of bag that I bought from Decathlon, a sports shop. And there was always a problem of where to leave my locks. Personally, I like to keep my bike secure. So I've got three locks all tucked into this bag. It's supposed to be mounted onto bicycles, but hey, it worked for me. So I went to the Decathlon, I looked for a bag that uh, will fit all my, my locks. And this is what I got. And so far it's worked perfectly for me for over a year. Once I see signs of wear, I'm going to change it uh, so that when I'm riding, I can care less about my locks. Just tuck them in there, lock them up and nicely integrated into the bike and just focus on the riding. So if you are looking for a, a sleek idea to handle your locks while you're riding, then this might be one of the solutions. Just get a simple uh, bag that's durable, tied somewhere onto the bike, where it won't interfere with your riding or your safety, and I think you'll be good to go. So there you have it, guys. These are the important modifications that I've done to my Honda CB 500 days. And I would say there are a few other things that I'm considering, like spotlights, um, because the lighting on the bike is not that great. So it's something that I might think of installing soon. But so far, these are the modifications that I've made on this bike and they're working for me comfortably. So some of these might be suitable for you. They might not be. Other things might be suitable, but just know that it is not a bike that you can buy and forget it. There are some things that you will need to change or upgrade in order to make it uh, safe and uh, comfortable for you. So guys, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm truly, truly grateful grateful for sticking around and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and leave a comment let me know what modifications you have made for your bike and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time so we can grow together once again thank you so much for watching till i see you in the next video guys ride legal ride safe peace